rational expressions. This is where the fun starts. So I have cosecant of theta divided by the secant of theta. And you know we're going to try simplifying this out. And a lot of times when we're going to get to rational, this is where a lot of students are going to start having their hiccups because they're like, ah, oh, fractions, rational terms. It, it sometimes gets a little confusing. Um, however, we're going to kind of find, the, find or use the same kind of type of reasoning we've done before. If we can't automatically simplify things, we're going to use our trigonometric identities to rewrite our expression. So I can rewrite the cosecant of theta by using my uh, uh, reciprocal identities of saying it's 1 over the sine of theta divided by, I can rewrite the secant of theta by saying that's going to be 1 over the cosine of theta. Now we can automatically just kind of look at this. And there is another way that once you kind of get a little practice, you can be able to see you know, what that is going to uh, already simplify to. But let's just kind of look at this breaking this down and kind of following through. And how can we rewrite this? So 1 over sine of theta divided by 1 over cosine of theta. And you're like, all right, what now what do I do, right? Well, let's just take a look. What would you do if it was over fractions? And some of you might be like, I don't know either. So let's say I did like 1 third divided by 1 half. How do we do that with fractions? Well, remember, when you're first learning fractions, when you're dividing a fraction by a fraction, um, you, all, you, know, you could say multiply by the reciprocal and so forth. But why do we multiply by the reciprocal? So if I need to simplify this, I need to get my fraction on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. Any number multiplied by a reciprocal is equal to 1. Then I make sure I multiply my reciprocal on the top as well. And that's where we get the reciprocate and multiply. So now when I multiply across, I get 2 thirds. So now it's 2 thirds divided by 1, which we now know is just going to equal 2 thirds, or just represent to 2 thirds. Um, so that's going to be the same kind of thinking I'm going to want to do for this problem. I'm going to want to multiply by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 1 over cosine of theta is just going to be cosine over 1. But we don't need to write the cosine over 1. We can just write cosine of theta. So I need to make sure I multiply by cosine of theta on the top as well. Well, 1 over cosine times cosine we know is going to represent 1. And then cosine of theta over sine of theta is just going to be cosine of theta over sine of theta, which we should know by using our quotient identity is going to be cotangent of theta. So now I have cotangent theta divided by 1, which is just simply going to leave me with a final answer of cotangent of theta. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find your. Uh, or simplify your rational trigonometric expression. Thanks.